Born on November 18, 1954, to Keshab Chandra Gogoi, who was later to become Chief Minister of Assam for two months, and Shanti Gogoi, a social activist. Justice Ranjan Gogoi's family background is deeply rooted in the fabric of Assam. His legal journey began 40 years ago in the Guwahati High Court before becoming the Chief Justice of Punjab and eventually being transferred to the Supreme Court of India. In his tenure at the Supreme Court, Justice Gogoi has had a reputation for speaking his mind and giving messages beyond his judgments. He is also one of the four judges who came out against the alleged partiality in allotment of cases by the CJI. More is there in the letter. Beyond this, I don't think there is any other issue. We need to address. Justice Gogoi has been part of some of landmark judgments of recent times, from barring the use of images of politicians in government adverts to curbing misuse of taxpayers' money to political advantage. to refusing to grant an extension to Sahara boss Subrat Roy for depositing 600 crore rupees no institution can justice survive. gogoi has no. never shied away from speaking his mind in one of the first to his credit he became the first to issue a contempt notice to a former supreme court judge justice markande kaju now as justice gogoi is set to take charge as the chief justice of india His role in the National Register of Citizens or the NRC draft will be crucial as he heads the bench that has been monitoring the case. The NRC has the potential of becoming a major issue in the upcoming 2019 general elections and in his own words he aims to cut India's judicial pile up. Whatever is possible whatever is reasonable will certainly be done the good work carried on by carried out by the honor of the chief justice will be further carried on by the next generation as the next general elections takes place under his tenure it will be interesting to see how the new fiery and outspoken chief justice of india captains india's judiciary during this period